order of business today clean the desk In general, this is very much in general. I try to have places for all my things. So I have these drawers set up here to um, store all the small stuff that I use frequently. Over here I have, you can see, um, these boxes. And these boxes have various sundries in them. This is um, basically cables and general building stuff, cable ties, things like that. Over here, I have a box with nothing but heat shrink. And I use heat shrink a lot. Quite like that. Um, over here, I have a box with more electronic stuff and various pieces and parts and bits of quads and some of the bigger stuff that doesn't fit in there. For example, I think there's a Nase in there. A Nase 32 that I have in there. Oh. Then down here we have pieces and parts. Never mind the mess. As you can see, I have my tools hanging here at easy reach. I have my little Hako 936 that I bought hidden under here that I can access at any time, and that's linked there. Anyway, so here I have various pieces and parts. These are all parts for the Tenkito 30. They were, most of these were sent generously by um, David Bayama at Flying Cinema. So I've got all sorts of pieces and parts here for the Flying Cinema Tenkito and for the Cine Tank. And then some various other parts in here as well. I think I have a couple arms for over here. This arm for my alien. I think that's a five inch arm. I'm not sure. Maybe it's four inch. Yeah, some some extra arms there. A broken top plate for my um, QAV 250. So yeah, pieces and parts of various quads. Down underneath, I have just various extraneous storage I really use for anything and then I have props lots and lots of props so quite a decent variety this isn't all my store but got four inch props 12 inch props some pretty crappy six inch props gem fan don't recommend those at all uh, lots of other various props more four inch props a collection of six inch props so yeah and then some various five by five by threes five by four point fives you know just various props there you go over here tool, tool storage broken stuff as you can see you can probably calculate by how much is in here, how much I've actually spent in this hobby. And I can tell you it's a freaking lot. So that's Nays, Nase, whatever the hell you want to call it. Rotor Geek ESCs, they might be good, they might not be good. These kind of got um, dumped in the snow and never really worked right afterwards, but... Cameras, motors motors more motors most of these are burnt have burnt windings and you can see how burnt that is more nazis a tornado 
Now it's a quite burnt. Broken arm for the tanquito. Not even sure why that's in there. Should be thrown away. Rotors. These are usually spare rotors that I can use later on if worst case scenario. So yeah, all sorts of crap. Some transmitters that burnt out. Yeah. And tools. And I have to say I bought these on eBay Green Link Communications. They're wire cutters, obviously, wire strippers, and these have been the best investment. I highly recommend them. I don't remember how much I paid for them, but they're they're extremely useful. And every time I like them, or every time I use them, I reminded how much I like them. Yeah. Better here. Right, 